right, Nyx Assassin, the wraparound is going to be there. They do spot out the Courier, though. Might be able to get the Snatch if they want to. Instead, they're going to be going for the kill. There's the spin. He does not get off. Actually, his Spike Carapace there. It finally does come out, but he's going to die nonetheless. September draws first blood as Nyx Assassin is trying to TP home. So he doesn't have a TP to come back out either. Really? Okay. Oh, they pop the dust. Does not hit onto that anybody, though. Another sentry is down as well. They have found Shade, though. Oh, the Magnus again in a little bit of trouble. Vacuum back. Oh, the kids start being skewer onto two. Ends up being able to hit him a whole heck of a lot of damage. They've taken down both of them and now looking for old 11 again. September chasing, but not going to be able to find the kill. Meanwhile, the missiles get thrown out. Blink strike to dodge away from it. They do not have vision of old 11, though. So I think he has escaped this time. My goodness. Oh, the jump forward, and maybe gonna be able to find the kill on the old land and vacuum again on the four with the Omni Slash going. They take down the Tinker. Ooh, that was quite sexy. Went to TI, even though he didn't get to go to TI himself. And now they're kind of running these interesting strats that are, you know, a little bit unorthodox. It's cool to see. Oh, she just destroyed in the mid lane as June had no way of saving him. Only has the blink online, does not quite have the... Oh, vacuum up to the high ground, they dropped the wall! Witch Doctor Ultimate there as well, they kill off old chicken! Oh my goodness, he did not expect that. September mid lane, they also have eyes on him, and that should be another dead hero as Morphling finds the kill on the Ricky. Old Eleven now looking for the kill. He actually took a crit cleave, doing 500 damage to the Nyx Assassin. Might even actually try and find... Oh my god, flyby. I don't think he realized that that Nyx was there, but the Spike Carapace would have caught him. What's oh, they did find the kill up in the top lane on the Darkseer. So he was just trying to farm it a little bit more efficiently. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, 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 great shade. Jumped on first. Morphling kills off the Ricky. Everybody on the side of Ehome is walking up. There's a big chance for an RP if they end up being able to find it. Not quite in spades. And Flyback kills off the Shadow Demon, still fine for the moment. Tinker jumps forward, they throw out another Adaptive Strike, and that's going to be the glimpse back. Can they find the opening, though? It doesn't look like it. On the back side of it, the Nyx was keeping the Magnus out of the fight, and so they do end up making it a two-for-two two trade. Oh, Shade, he might spot out. These guys are here. He's underneath the ward, though. Needs to be careful. Pop the RP a couple quick hits. They're out of there. Shade doing the damage. Might be able to take a little bit more vacuum on the two. Guardian taking it. Can Garter actually drop, though? He is going to fall. And just like that, three heroes are gone. Holy hell. That was good. Strength renewed and purpose with it. Oh, RP mid, they drop it on the Silar vacuum wall, everything, and they kill off the Morphling. Accidentally pops his BKB. Uh, that was not meant to be, I don't think, by Shade, but regardless, they just blow it all and kill a Morphling. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. No, rough stuff indeed. They're going to go through and tail connect onto a couple. Vacuum Wall, though, is going to be able to catch, and there's a nice disruption, but they do pull back out the Nyx Assassin. A jump with the laser. The Omni Slash is going to be enough to kill off Old Animal on the Disruptor, and Old Eleven, meanwhile, throws down a pit, only connects onto one, so 
eyes on the prize while the juggernaut ends up burning his Aegis in the enemy base. They take the tier 2 tower, he's gonna have to blink out, but doesn't quite catch it in time, and does still have the Manta BKB, so he should be able to get out of there. They end up taking down two after the Morphling was gone, as well as the tier 2 tower. And CDEC going strong. Okay. Alrighty, good stuff. Uh, okay, they found Witch Doctor. Still alive, though. There's the Glimmer Game. And now, all of a sudden, vacuum on to three. Do they have the follow up? There's Shadow Demon gone. There's the other one. Actually, cancels his uh, RP1. Whips it completely. Old 11 doesn't get caught at all. And they can't kill off Silar. They do manage to finish off, though. The Nyx Assassin, Gem on the ground. It's really just been a, a comedy of errors over the last couple of minutes. Um, Ehome in particular has been the brunt of it. Yeah. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh my god, Hold 11 just took about like two, a third of his damage just, just from one swipe from the Magnus. Misses the skewer going back the other direction. Actually, they call off the charge. Not gonna go for him. Um, but Shade now has a Daedalus up and online. Oh, looking for a big vacuum. They might be able to find it on the backside of this. There's the RP. Oh, he does actually end up being able to find it at the end. Silar is going to fall, and it looks like they might end up being able to take a little bit more off the back of it. Gardar does the little loopy loop wrap around. They do not kill off Old Eleven. They also don't get the Nyx. Just a little play there. Oh my god, September, he's getting set up. Can they find the big initiation? They're looking for it, vacuum, where are you? Oh, I just want it one time, give it to me. Old Lenham's gonna get dropped down, they do get the Omni Slash on the two, eliminated, Flyby's out of there. Old Lanham should die as well. They weren't able to get the big, huge initiation, but nonetheless, if Ehome do not get here quickly, game is going to be over. And with Aegis down on the ground, I'm starting to feel like that might just be the case. Okay. Alright. Well, we'll see if they can make that happen. Silar is being scouted out. They could think about jumping on this. They break the Lincolns and end up being able to find him. Again, in a lot of trouble. He got his BKB off. They can switch over to the form, but it doesn't matter. It's just too much damage coming out from this Magnus. Well, buyback status, Morphling does not have it. 44 seconds with no Silar in this one. And Flyby, meantime, is just gonna keep on hitting away at this tower. Needs to be a little bit careful, doesn't want to get caught. Manta style, jump forward, looking for the initiation. Can they find it? Shade still does have another jump if he wants to. He's up back now. 30 seconds until RP is up and online. They are gonna glimpse back the mag, but he's popped the KB. Turns to the tower. And eat home can only be looked on to dismay as their buildings are falling. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Oh, jump forward. Old chicken silence the disruption, keeping him alive for the moment. Old Lanham is there as well. They can't think about going back in. Are we gonna see another big play? I don't even think they need it at this point. They're just getting on to this. Their head, Silar takes the Omni Slash to the dome. Oh, they get the bullet, they cancel the blank of Shade, and now they're all cut. They're doing so much damage. The Tinker's killing them all. Silar hits a double, chasing after June now. Can they actually kill him? Trying to find the body blocks in an instant with one really great disruptor, old D. They turn the fight around. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, the barracks are starting to fall a little bit. They do have vision in the midst of all of this. They need to be careful, Ehome, to not overextend. Again, that combination is still available if they can find it. And Flyby is looking. They do have the Dark Seer. Not quite in the area as of yet. They're thinking about jumping in. Magnus is there as well. Does not want to get his blink canceled. It's back off cooldown again. 
popped the DKB already for Jin, so he is thinking about jumping back in. They don't actually have it, though. No other vacuum can come out. They get the disruption on 11 and keep him alive. He is going to run back away. It's the Witch Dog Ultimate coming in. Omni Slash connections. Oh, it switches over to the creep Blade, though, and not going to be able to catch him. That should be enough to kill off Old Chicken. He does end up falling. Buyback immediately by Disruptor and the Tinker going in on top of Silar. Can they find another pick here? If they can get another kill, which they have found Flyby, this might be enough. He goes for the Mantis style. There's the Laser Rod, and he ends up falling. That's actually Juggernaut gone with no buyback for um, five minutes. Dyer's middle tower. They're going for tier fours. They. Oh, RP. All right, Solar pushing him into the fountain. He's not quick for rage. I don't know if they can kill him. He actually waves for away. BKB is trying to run out of there. I think that they're actually going to do it. He holds. He's on the prize. He's going to take it down. They literally just lost the one game. Oh, God. Speezy. Not like this. They catch him in the static storm. BKBs are popped. It doesn't matter. Throne is down. Eho win. Oh, CDEC!